I'm in Tokyo, Japan. I'm specifically in Shinjuku, which is a place where a lot of people go to shop to eat food, nightlife. But there's one place that I think any food lover should go. The department store. Why would you go to a department store for food? Well, on the bottom floor of all department stores, they have what I call food heaven. Everything from places to pick up food to eat, restaurants, and even a grocery store. But today, I want to share with you guys something really unique, which is the fruits, the crazy fruits. I'm telling you, it's fruit at perfection levels that you've never seen and prices you probably would never pay, but still fun. So let me go in here and I'll vlog it for you guys. All right, so the way to get to it is you have to go to the bottom floor because it's called the Depa Dochika, which basically translates to bottom floor of the department store or basement of the department store. Let's start with this. Look how amazing that looks. Food heaven, all kinds of foods to pick up. Want breakfast, lunch, and dinner? They got you. Chinese food, the heaven of food. It's kind of crazy right now. I mean, it's like crazy busy. Probably picked a horrible time to come here. Even the bakeries here are amazing. Finally, I made it to the fruit department or the produce section of the grocery store. I'm gonna start here because this is where the, <laughs> if you can call this, basic fruits are. And I'll show you the prices too. So individually wrapped apples, I believe each one of these are 411 yen. So you're talking maybe about three bucks. They look good. I believe these are pomelos. They call them mellow golds, but maybe that's the brand. We have these in the Philippines. This one, what is that? Six bucks for two, but they do look perfect. These kiwis come in packs of threes and six and 48 yen. That's about four and a half dollars. All these oranges are packed so nicely, precisely. The size is what blows my mind because they're all so uniformed. This, four bucks for this little pack, four and a half bucks. I think this is correct, but this is a four dollar orange. It feels just like a mandarin. I'm actually gonna buy this just to try it. I'm not sure what this is, but tiny little oranges. I forgot what you call these. Seven bucks for the whole thing. These are mandarins, similar to what I buy for the girls. This, I think this is like 10 bucks just for this little pack of six. This is where it's gonna start getting crazy, the strawberries. So in Japan, strawberry season is end of January, beginning of February, which is unusual for me because I grew up picking strawberries in the summertime look at this so this whole box of strawberries two packages cost 14 bucks or in yen is 2160 yen not bad i mean that's expensive but i bet those are delicious so we're progressively getting more fancy these are other selections of strawberries this one particularly 1400 yen about 10 bucks 10 bucks for six strawberries. Hold on, it gets even more nuts. This is the display that's near the aisle. This little pack, how much is in here? 15, 2,700 yen, $18. This fancy box, 6,480. <laughs> I think that's $40. I'm trying to do math on the fly. Or you can buy one individual strawberry. Seven dollars for this one guy here. How about this bad boy? Remember I said one of these is seven dollars? Seventy for that whole box. Seventy dollars. So one of the reasons they even have these kind of fancy fruits is because they give these away as gifts when they go over to people's houses or to a party. 
because gift giving is a big deal in Japan. So this is kind of a, a nice way to give something you wouldn't buy for yourself, but is probably amazing in its experience. Oh shoot, look at this. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a big old grapefruit or maybe a pomelo cross between the two. 18 bucks. 18 bucks. Oh. Now this seems pretty reasonable. 1,080 yen. About seven dollars, maybe a little bit less than seven bucks for a fancy pineapple. I've seen people pay way more than that. These boxes are 4,860 yen, which equates to about 32 bucks. Look how nicely these are packed. Perfect. The size is perfect, the spacing is perfect. This is the type of gift that people really pride themselves on giving when they want to impress somebody. If you ever want to give me a gift of fancy fruit, I'm there for it. I love fruit. Now, it's funny, I just came from the Philippines where I ate a ton of fruit with Mikey Bustos and just one of these boxes probably cost more than all the fruit we bought at the Palenque, which is kind of mind blowing. This fruit basket, very nice, has kind of a, a mixture, a couple different apples oranges and that grapefruit looking thing, 5400 yen, Alright, if you've ever seen our vlogs, this is where it gets kind of ridiculous and a whole nother level. Melons are literally perfect. Watch a documentary on YouTube to see how they take care of these, it'll blow your mind. So, that right there. One melon, 10,000 yen, we're talking 70 bucks, or 28,000 for two melons, 188 bucks, or around there, 38,880, that's over 200 bucks. Wow. That's a gift. This is an interesting mango. It's got a very pale color to its skin, probably equates out to 12 or 13 bucks, maybe less, maybe 11 dollars. I want to say it's the most expensive mango, but sometimes at Whole Foods, <laughs> they, these get expensive, but these look really good. Even lemons. This is a gigantic lemon. I just want to pick one up just to show you guys look how big this lemon is. I don't think I'll be getting these for the girls' lemonade stand. I don't even know. My head's kind of going loopy right now, but that's expensive. First time I've ever seen fancy dried mangoes. Is that what this is? Hmm, I might actually try this. Girls will love that too. Oh, are these bananas? By the way, if you're ever in Japan, or really any country, but definitely Japan, Google Translator, that's the app I use. It's a lifesaver. I guess this is a potato. Hmm. I've never seen this many tomato juices either. Must be popular here to drink these. One thing I've seen a lot of, all over Tokyo stands that sell dried persimmons. I wonder if this is the season where they dry these or they're just from whenever they do dry them. This box right here, 40 bucks. That's a pretty booyah gift of dried persimmons. Oh yeah, and here, this is the only one I've seen, but the white strawberry. It's really cool, but I personally like the red strawberries better in terms of flavor. I think it's just a novelty to give a gift like this, especially if you've never had one before. Okay, I decided to go to the gift line. They wrap it all nice to give away. We're going to a friend's restaurant tonight, so I thought it'd be nice to just give it to her because that's the whole point of these fancy fruits. Give it away. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. One of the good things about the Depatica or the department store bottom floor food court thing, free samples. They give out a lot of free samples so you can try a lot of things. You can try a lot of foods, taste different cuisines, and don't be intimidated. People are very friendly. And a lot of foreigners come, so even if you can't speak Japanese, go taste something down there. It's, it's one of my top three favorite things to do in Tokyo and it's very underrated. All right, next time I'm gonna just show you 
all the other food. Today was just for fruits. Next time, I'll be eating some food.